In this lesson, we will run a 1099-B reconciliation report. This is an important step to complete before finalizing tax reporting. If you have multiple brokerage accounts, you will reconcile each account individually. You cannot reconcile to your 1099-B using the All Accounts tab. Before proceeding, you should locate your broker provided 1099-B report. Your broker should have mailed this report or provided a digital copy online. We will demonstrate how to locate proper totals for 1099-B reconciliation using a TD Ameritrade 1099-B form. With the corresponding trade log file open, click on the Reports menu and select Reconcile 1099-B. A dialog box will appear. This is where you will enter key information from your broker's 1099-B report. First you will enter gross proceeds or total sales reported by the broker. This is often referred to as line 2 or box 2 on the 1099-B. Remember, broker reporting may vary. Some brokers provide a summary section on one of the first few pages of the 1099-B report that totals the gross proceeds. Other brokers require you to add up all the sales totals for each subsection on the 1099-B. This includes both covered and non-covered securities, both short-term and long-term. Back in the trade log window, Enter your gross proceeds number as seen on your 1099-B report. This number is crucial for 1099-B reconciliation, but if you trade only options or futures, sales totals are normally not reported. Next, you need to enter cost basis totals for both long-term and short-term securities from the 1099-B. These totals will allow TradeLog to make necessary adjustments to your IRS Form 8949 for cost basis reporting. The cost basis totals you enter in TradeLog should only be for covered securities. This means the IRS required your broker to calculate a cost basis for these securities. There are also non-covered securities where the IRS, for whatever reason, did not require your broker to calculate the cost basis for a security. This is provided as supplementary information. Both covered and non-covered sections will be separated and should be specified on your broker's 1099-B form. Again, broker reporting may vary. Some brokers provide a summary section on one of the first few pages of the 1099-B report that totals the cost basis. Other brokers require you to add up the cost basis total for each subsection of the 1099-B. If you are having difficulty locating your gross proceeds or cost basis totals, you can get further information at our website, TradeLogSoftware.com. Go to our Trader Taxes section and then click on Brokerage Tax Reporting. When you have located and verified your total cost basis your broker reported, you can enter the totals in the proper fields in TradeLog. If you do not have a short-term or long-term cost basis, leave the field blank. Next, it is vital to review the 1099-B details. Because broker reporting may vary, it is necessary to identify how your broker listed certain information. Again, it would be helpful to have your 1099-B handy so you can check or uncheck the proper boxes in TradeLog. Options are not required to be reported to the IRS until the 2014 tax year. 
Therefore, most brokers do not report options, so this box can be left unchecked. Note that some brokers do report option transactions as supplemental information in a subsection of the 1099B for personal use. However, this is not the same as reporting to the IRS. The next checkbox deals with the reporting of option premiums. If you traded options, you need to confirm if your broker adjusted sales for option premiums. In other words, if you traded an option and it was exercised, you are now checking to see if the stock assigned was adjusted properly on the broker's reporting. Most brokers do not indicate such an adjustment on the 1099B. The last three boxes pertain to securities that are either covered or non-covered on the broker's 1099B. You will need to refer to each section to determine how your broker reported each type of security. Mutual funds in most cases are treated as stock, but ETFs and ETNs can be tricky, and broker reports vary. If all ETFs and all ETNs are reported as covered, check this box. If only some ETFs or ETNs are covered and some are non-covered, go to the Trade Log User Guide for instructions on how to handle this unique situation. Once you have entered and chosen the necessary information, you can choose to print out a copy of the 1099B details for your records. Next, you can click on the Run 1099 Reconciliation Report button to generate your report. Note this report is not to be filed with your taxes. The difference should be close to zero as possible. If a large negative difference exists, please make sure you read all notes and follow all of the instructions that are provided on this report. For your convenience, you can print, copy, or save this report. Click Exit to close the report. To learn more about using TradeLog, go to www.tradelogsoftware.com.